What's up, y'all? It's your boy, eBay Fight Predictions, in the building. And y'all already know what it is. I told y'all I would be doing a fantasy matchup prediction for every week leading up to UFC 262. And now uh, we are at number five. I uh, can't wait for this one. It's a really, really good matchup. And the matchup I picked, and this is uh, via su subscriber request. I, I forgot the guy's name. I think Grapes. Grapes something. I forgot the guy's name. I'll, I'll shout him out in the video. I'll give him a shout out. But I am using the Tony Ferguson versus Conor McGregor matchup. Um, usually, I try to add a, a current champion, right? But this one, uh, I was like, all right, might as well have some fun with it. It's a fantasy matchup. I don't got to restrict myself. But, I mean, um, this was a fight that was supposed to happen. You know, Tony was the interim champion after he beat Kevin Lee. Conor was the champ. And I don't know what was going on with Conor. This was during a, uh, a point where, you know, he was playing money with Floyd. And, um... And this was after the Floyd fight, so he was just playing with that uh, that Floyd money, and he wasn't really f fighting. He was just, you heard him in the headlines, right, when he tried to, to push the referee and shit like that. But, you know, he never did the thing, and then Tony got matched up to fight Khabib, and then he got injured, and then, the, you know, Khabib ended up fighting Ally Quinta for the belt, and we, we can keep talking and talking. And uh, these guys never cross paths. It's insane. Tony never got a matchup with Conor. Tony ended up fighting, uh, I think, Anthony Pettis, Cerrone, and then he ended up fighting Gaethje, which ended up being his demise, and then Charles Oliveira, which ended up being his uh, his funeral session. But it is what it is. <laughs> um, here's what I got to say. At the end of the day, it, it, you know what? It, it doesn't really matter that they never fought. It's, it's not something I needed to see, but it's an interesting matchup. Uh, now, Connor, ever since then, really, you know, he... He had that phenomenal performance against Eddie Alvarez. Fights Floyd, all right, gets a lot of credit for going, you know, a lot of rounds against Floyd. One, considered one of the greatest boxers of all time. In my humble opinion, one of the, the greatest defensive boxers of all time. Uh, a legend of this game. Um, and yet you got you got to give uh, Floyd some credit, you know, for going out there at, at that age, you know, and fighting this, you know, hey, man, he didn't have to fight Conor. But it is what it is. So Conor got a lot of credit for that. Then Conor comes back, fights Khabib. Right on the same card where Tony fights Pettis, which is crazy, y'all. It's crazy how they were on the same card and no one fought each other. <laughs> like it is insane. We we never got to see Tony and Khabib, and they were on the same. They were in the same building, y'all. But it is what it is. At the end of the day. Um, oh, okay. All right. Uh, uh sorry. I, I sorry, y'all. I, I got a crazy text message. But it is what it is. Back to what I was saying. You know, Connor loses to Khabib. Then Connor fights Cowboy Cerrone, right? Has that, I mean, interesting fight with Cerrone. And then, man, <laughs> man gets out there smoked by Dustin. And uh, it was somewhat shameful. But it is what it is. Uh, it's it, it's okay. But um, in terms of this matchup and what I'm using, I'm going to be using their primes, man. When I felt like they were at their best to really talk about this matchup and I'm, I'm going to use a prime Tony the Tony that fought you know Kevin Lee for the interim title at 33 and I'm going to use a Connor that just beat Eddie Alvarez and uh, that's what I'm going to use but if we look at the stats and we're not going to look at records because these are a little older right we're going to just primarily look at the reach and the height and Tony comes with the height of 5'11 he is taller than Connor who is 5'9 who is and he does come on with a reach of 76 he does have a longer reach and connor comes in with a reach of 74 this is really really interesting um in terms of this matchup i mean man man like it really comes down to durability and pace pacing and cardio really and there's a few ways I can see connor winning this fight obviously he can chin tony and i i, I used to think tony's chin was degrading but, man, I had nothing but respect for Tony's chin in that Gaethje fight, man. That guy, he bit on his mouthpiece and never, never let up. And he took so much damage in that fight, and he never went down. Like, you can say uh, this or that, but he never went down. And that's insane to me. He's been dropped before, but, man, the guy, I, I've never seen him out cold. And um, could Connor do it? I don't know. Maybe he could. But, um... It's, it's an interesting situation we're in, you know, in terms of what's going on. And, I mean, Conor would really have to knock out Tony, in my humble opinion, to really win this fight. I don't see Conor winning a decision. 
Um, and yeah, that's the only way I can really see Connor winning. Now, Tony, on the other hand, may, you know, even if these guys fight right now, I know some people would be like, oh, Tony's all washed up. But like, I could still see Tony winning, you know? Um, at the end of the day, I, I, I think Tony's best way of winning is using his jab, using his reach, using his limbs, pressuring Connor, kind of do what he did to Anthony Pettis, right? He might get caught a few times, he might get dropped, but putting a pace on him, getting him tired, taking him to the deep waters, and uh, kind of winning that fight that way. And I, I, that's how I feel. I feel like Tony would have beat Connor. I know a lot of people think I'm crazy for saying this, but like, I feel like the clinch game, he, you know, he. He wouldn't necessarily like. He wouldn't out grapple Connor. I feel like unless they went to the ground, I feel like he would out grapple him there. But like, I, I just don't think he could. He would get it there. If you know what I'm saying, I don't think he would wrestle or go for takedowns. And he just doesn't have that in his arsenal. That's not the kind of fighter he is. He's more of a flow kind of fighter. He he flows to uh to every scenario, right? He doesn't care. But uh, I just feel like, in terms of. You know, his clinch work, though, and the way, he, you know, he gets them snap downs and gets a lot of those dark strokes. I just feel like if he was able to lean on him, put it on him, and uh, just just keep, you know, keep the pace up with Connor, I think he could tire him out, get a late finish, or get a late, you know, uh, submission. And I, I could see Tony Ferguson winning this fight. That's who I would pick. I'd probably pick, in a five-round fight, I'd probably pick Tony by fourth round. TKO, I think Tony would just break him. I just, I don't know why. I know that sounds crazy, but like I just feel like Tony would break him. But it is what it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on my uh, Instagram and my Twitter. If you're new, subscribe. Go click the notification button. Uh, like, comment, uh, share the video. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation growing. And tell me who you guys think would have won this matchup in the comments down below. Love y'all and goodbye.